Hello, and welcome to your ninth speaking lesson in the Complete English series. Today we'll try something different. I have shown you how to break sentences and dialogue into parts to make it sound better. Now I want you to practice talking to me. Let me show you how we will do this, but first, make sure you have your notebook and pencil ready to write everything down. So, let's try this. You are trying to buy a bus ticket, and I am the ticket agent. You read your part, now let's chat. Good afternoon, how can I help you? Okay, where do you want to go? Okay, what time would you like to leave? Let me check. Just a moment, please. It looks like the next bus is at 10 a.m. Would you like that bus? Oh, I'm sorry. There are only two seats available on that bus. How about the next bus? It leaves at 11 a.m. Sure, I will book those tickets for you. Where would you like to sit? Please look at this seating chart here. Oh, no problem. I can reserve those seats for you. Just one moment, please. You can bring anything you would like to drink, but we ask that it is in a bottle with a top. You may also bring snacks as long as you clean up when you leave. Bus breaks are every two hours. You are very welcome. Have a great day. This was your second conversation with me as a partner. I set the speed of the conversation to what fluent people speak at, so if it was a little too fast, then play it again to practice some more. We will be having more conversations in the future too. For now, let's talk about today's conversation. Good afternoon, how can I help you? Here, I am happy to see you, so my tone is up. Hi, I need a bus ticket for today. You have a request, so your tone is up also. Okay, where do you want to go? The tone is always up for questions. I would like a bus ticket to Washington, D.C. Simple statements have a flat tone. Okay, what time would you like to leave? It is a question, so the tone is up. I would like to leave soon. What is the earliest time you have available? This is a flat tone and an up tone for the question. Let me check. Just a moment, please. It looks like the next bus is at 10 a.m. Would you like that bus? The tones here are up, flat, flat, and up. Yes, that would be perfect. Can I have three tickets, please? Here you are, happy so that the tones are up and it is a request. Oh, I'm sorry. There are only two seats available on that bus. How about the next bus? It leaves at 11 a.m. Here, I have a down tone because I have bad news. The question is up because it's always up, and the last is a flat one because it's a fact. That will be okay too. Can I reserve those? Both are up. 
Sure, I will book those tickets for you. Where would you like to sit? Please look at this seating chart here. The first three are up since I'm selling you something. The last is a fact and it's flat. I would like to sit near the front of the bus. My daughter gets sick at the back of the bus. Can we have seats three, four, five, and six? That way we can all sit together in the front. The first two are flat and the question is up and the last is flat. Oh, no problem. I can reserve those seats for you. Just one moment, please. The first two are up and the last is flat. Great! Now can we bring food and drinks on the bus? It's a long bus ride and I would like snacks for the trip. The first two are up and the last is flat. You can bring anything you would like to drink but we ask that it is in a bottle with a top. You may also bring snacks as long as you clean up when you leave. Bus breaks are every two hours. I'm explaining something so everything is flat here. Perfect. Thank you so much for your help. I will take my family to buy some snacks and we will return to board later. Goodbye. This is up, up, flat, and up for the goodbye. You are very welcome. Have a great day. This is a goodbye, so it's up too. Now that we are working on conversations and dialogue, the videos will be much faster. I want you to play the video again to practice the conversation and try to match the speed and tones we talked about. Soon you will be speaking as fast as me. Keep up the great work and I will see you for our next lesson. Goodbye.